Hello and welcome. You are at the Wildberries channel and I hope you've liked and subscribed and you have clicked on the notification bell. I am Irene and today I am going to talk about five reasons why you should not be in an interracial relationship that is going to be a true or false. I mean, number five, like, yeah, I'm going to talk about it and it's, it, it's, it's one you should not. I'm definitely sure you have heard about it and you are wondering if it is true or false. So today I am bringing in my own side of the story. So you know from somebody that has the experience or is living the situation, whether it's actually true or false. Most of these five reasons I'm going to mention is they are stuff that people say. Most of the people have not been in an interracial relationship but as they claim they have uh, heard from people who have been in i don't know how true that is but i mean i heard about them myself before coming to a relationship some of which i believe were true some of which uh, i doubt they are you know uh yeah so i'm just going to just bring them up one by one and let's talk about that so let's Yes, yeah, so um, I'm going to start with number one, uh, family distancing. People believe that when you get into an interracial relationship, uh, if you are a woman or if you are a man, I don't know, both sides, the other partner who is uh, from another race, mostly from the European or I would say white race, will not want you to have your family members around or will not appreciate the visit or the constant connection with your family members. So, is that true or false? Mm -hmm. ah. So yes, I'm going to say on that point, I think it depends on which partner you are with. And I think uh, this is not an interracial thing because people have defined it like uh, it's something that the white people will normally do and the African people will suffer from if they get into an interracial relationship. But I think this is not an interracial thing. It goes, it's you know of some black, uh, or I'll say some, some, dark, some dark couples who still don't appreciate family visits, you know. I know of some Africans who are still really strict to my wife and my kids. They don't want to have anything to do with the extended family. So it's not about... Uh, an interracial thing but for me dark couples do have this attitude some white couple some white people people do have the attitude my husband don't have it but i i think that it is not an interracial thing so if somebody is discouraging you into getting into your interracial interracial relationship and using this point you should just let them know this is not an interracial thing it can happen to anybody it goes by the individual yeah so yeah, to number two. Number two, what people say is, if you're in, in, a, in an interracial relationship, everything you do is gonna be 50-50, the 50-50 rule. Or everything is going to be split into two, whatever you do, you're going to split into two. Mm, true or false? I will say once more, that is not an interracial thing. That is not, uh, hmm, it's not an attitude that belongs solely to the to the white culture right because here in sweden particularly i have realized that with most africans most of the wives do contribute and uh, sometimes some even do way more than the man when it comes to home contribution so that is not the yes, there's this couple uh gray gray and jay Gray and Jay, shout out to Gray and Jay. I really appreciate your support coming to my channel, commenting and stuff. I really like it. And yeah, I would like you to, I want to ask you about this. You might say something about this too. Uh, because people say a lot of things about being in, a, in an interracial relationship and they feel that, oh, if you're going up with a white folk or if you're going up with a white girl, then your life is going to be like this automatically. Yeah. So when it comes to contribution, home, home contribution and stuff, 50-50 is not the white folk stuff. It happens even in African or 
or in that couple's relationship it's not uh, interracial it's not yeah it's not about you being with the white folk right it's just about the relationship you have with your partner how you agree on running the house and uh, how you support each other that's just a that's i mean there's nothing wrong about supporting a partner or doing 50 50 but people just want if the people just i don't know there's, there's something about it that people just use as if you're going to be some miserable person if you get married to uh, a white person yeah then that was that about number two let's go right to number three when it comes to number three i am going to say cultural differences cultural differences being in an interracial relation it's a fact that is going to be a mixture of two or different cultures sometimes even three because we africans can have like six different cultures <laughs> yeah so um when you are in uh, an international relationship and you are having your own culture and your husband or your wife has her own culture people usually see it as a problem and they're going to think that you are going to have such a hard time uh making your way out of that relationship and it is something you should not try to do one minute so that thing that uh uh cultural differences is a big no-no is something you should really consider when going into an interracial relationship but i'm about to say that there is also uh cultural differences in our african couples i don't think it's something you should really uh struggle with i don't think it is a point that you should hold on to because people are different all the time and it just depends on how you and your partner relate. You know, culture is one thing, but at the end of the day, there are two individuals coming together to plan something together, to have something going on together. So uh, if anyone is coming to you with this cultural differences stuff, girl or boy, even in your own home country, I mean, even in my own tribe, we have different villages and when one person from one village goes to somebody from another village in the same tribe they are still bound to be differences so long as people are different two individuals they are going to be differences irrespective so yeah it's just about the individuals you get together and do your stuff that's what i can say so i don't really consider uh cultural differences as as a stumbling block to an interracial relationship that is not something anyone should focus on or, or worry about it's about you and your partner how you plan and how you want to live it right yes so I, number four i am going to say the skin difference right this is weird but one person being dark and the other person being white it's something that many people have approached as something they will not want to relate to. I won't call it racism because um, even uh, within the African community, within the dark community, there's there are darker skin and fair skin, and there are some people who really who don't like the, the fair skin people. They don't they prefer the darker skin so yeah i i i don't want to see it as uh, a racist a, a racist act or something but what i will say is uh people some of some people because it has happened to me some people will be like oh i'm happy for you but you know i can't handle the white skin you know <laughs> anyway when i was younger when i was younger i felt like it too i think when i was really really younger i felt like yeah mm, there was something different about it but me being here in europe and getting to know the people to realize and learn that a human being is a human being this really has nothing to do with who we are inside everybody has one heart so i mean the the the, the build in is the same the blood is red on every on every side you know this doesn't really have anything to do with it 
so yeah if people come to you like Hana, i can't handle the white skin i can't handle the white skin i mean what's there to handle <laughs> what's there to handle yeah yeah so that was number four and the craziest the craziest of it all the one that killed me like <laughs> my goodness the one that mothered me the one i heard from about i don't know how many people number five number five number five number five is sexual satisfaction some people say that if you are i will take for example a that girl getting married to a white guy you're not going to be sexually satisfied <laughs> i don't know where this came from <laughs> i mean there was one guy who told me about this in the very conf confidence confidence way and i asked him back then how do you know that where do you come from with this and he gave his arguments uh about uh dick sides and stuff and whatever he could give and i quickly told him i being the woman who have been in some relationships not every dark guy has the same dick size hello dick size is an individual thing it is an individual thing and it ranges from every community. I have seen the, I have seen black guys with very, 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 right? Of course, some of them really have, but there are still some who are, yeah. So it is an individual thing. And the most uh, funniest thing about all of these is that that has nothing to do with the action be you or it's not about that it's about how well you can handle what you have right so uh i don't, i know some some girls who have guys who are really really they are not satisfied they are not satisfied and yeah most often those girls who have guys who are don't really talk about it but yeah I can't say, but I'm going to say that the size has nothing to do. And it is not a racial thing. Yes, it is known. Africans are giant. The size doesn't matter. The size does not matter. It is how you handle it. And hello, whoever said that white guys can't handle that part of a marital relationship you should go back and ask i mean there are a lot of girls out there right now who are in that relationship and i think you see them glow like i'm doing right now so do you really think i'm not satisfied yeah yeah so if you're hearing that crazy stuff number five if you're getting into an international relationship you're not going to be sexually satisfied girl it all it's all about your man sexual satisfaction it's still individual and it has nothing to do with race nothing nada in it not ah yeah so those were my five reasons why you should not get into an interracial relationship true or false part of it what people say versus what is real so if you have other things that you want me to talk about concerning interracial relationships or yeah whatever just drop in the comment section and i am going to address it if i can if i know about it